in Cincinnati, the community learning centers are um, unique in their commitment and deep foundation in the community engagement and community governance as well. Um, every single school has had a school-based governing body that is comprised of parents, community members, teachers, and administrators, each of them chosen by their own constituency group. And ultimately, the engagement of hundreds of people in the community pours into that local school decision-making committee. I am the PTO president over at Roberts, so I deal with all of the parents' um, parent issues. Um, I also sit on the LSDMC, which is the local decision-making committee um, board as well um, for the school. I've had five kids go through Roberts. I have seven total. What I generally do is, is I'm over there every other Tuesday at the school. We have our P um, PTO meeting, which is our parent-teacher organization. Um, I recently met with the superintendent for the Cincinnati Public Schools along with um, PTO presidents and vice presidents from each school. Just bringing the PTO to the forefront for those parents to be able to come to us for any issues because if somebody don't advocate for the parents and the kids, who will? Oh, you already found some toys to play. All right. So with this activity, everybody can go ahead with their children and pour the sand into your buckets here. There's different ways we can use questioning techniques, and there are two different types of questions we're going to talk about today. Learning Together was born, and the parents said, we want something to do with our children. And so we brought this model in, and it's really about our work is focused on the family and how we support the families as the child's first teacher because that, that's where they're spending all their time is at home. And so what, when they're at home with their children, these are things they can do with things within their home to help support children in their learning. In the case of Jonathan, for example, he was putting his hand and trying to pull the water, right? And he felt funny and took his hand. So he started to pull the water, right? So... My name is Bill Burwinkel and uh, I'm a born and raised Cincinnatian, and I was born in uh, Loveland, Ohio, and uh, unlike, and that's on the east side of Cincinnati, and unlike most people, uh, I came west, and uh, after I came out of the service, uh, I ended up living in Price Hill, and I've been in Price Hill for 45 years now. I started my business in my basement, and that was up in East Price Hill, uh, not more than uh, a half mile as a crow flies, up on top of the hill. And as my company grew, I needed more space, and I decided that I wanted to uh, make a commitment back to the community uh, where I got my start at. I'm now chairman of the board, so I only stop in for visits. I pick up the bank deposits, the most important thing to do, and I go to the bank, and my office is now up uh, stairs behind the lunchroom. Uh, let's just talk about all of the school and, and getting involved there because uh, uh, as uh, uh, the, the principal asked me to get involved, I did commit some of my own time. The school has a thing called an LSDMC, Local School Decision Making Committee. And what that committee does, uh, because I asked, well, what do we do? Is this some rubber stamp thing? Are we actually gonna do something? And they said, well, you're responsible for making sure the school delivers to the community what the community wants. So I went to a community council and asked what they wanted. They said, we want our high school back. A little background, Oil used to be a pre-K through 12th grade high school. It's one of the first industrial high schools in the whole state of Ohio. It had woodworking, it had metal shop, it had home ec, it had all those things. Uh, when I came to Oiler, half the building was vacant. It was pre-K through eighth grade. So back to the community council meeting, I said, well, that shouldn't be difficult. They said, we've been asking forever. It's never gonna happen. Uh, it, it took us uh, uh, over a year, and uh, we had to go in front of the school board, make presentations. We had to go out in the community and do surveys and count kids on how many kids would come to high school. And the last vote of the year, uh, it got passed. 
That group is uh, responsible on an ongoing basis, that, first of all, for confirming the vision that has come out of these planning processes, um, for identifying the priorities that, that we need to be able to achieve the vision, and then also selecting who will the partner be. 